Once you're done putting in all your information, you're now ready to assemble or combine your directory. Your directory is going to be a combination of multiple files and reports, as well as some Word documents. In this directory I've put together, and I'm looking at it in Reader, uh, we see that we have a cover, we have PTA board, and actually after that cover we even have some information pages here which tell us telephone number, this were actually done in Word, uh, we have a PTA board report, we have a faculty report, parent cross-reference, but the point is is that our directory is going to be a combination of multiple files and reports to give us a final beautiful directory. Now, I'm going to show you how you can use a tool right on your desktop to combine them. Your print shop can also combine these files together. But let's see where all the different files came from, and I will show you how to put it all together. The first step in putting it all together is deciding what is going to go into your directory. I'm going to go in and select the reports that I want in the My School Edition by simply clicking on Reports and Preview. Now I can select multi-column format by school, by grade, let's say I want by class, but if we preview and look at what's in the directory, we can see the different options. This is an alpha listing, and if we zoom in, we can see all the family contact information. We can also look at maybe we like the single column format or maybe we want the booklet format and there's a booklet uh, video that you should take a look at because that formatting is is a bit different but let's say we're going to do an alpha listing in our directory by school we simply preview and then we go up to the top ribbon you see we can print we can change margins we have a page up op page setup option where we can look at the margins that are set up for this particular report but we're going to actually click on PDF because we're going to save this as a PDF. It opens up another dialog box. We give it a name. Now in this case, I've created a folder on my computer to keep track of all the reports that I'm going to be saving. So I'm going to go to that publishing files and this is going to be my alphabetical listing. So I'm going to give it a name, I'm going to make it a standard publishing size, and I'm going to click Publish. It now created, and you see it popped up uh, Adobe Reader, my alpha listing. We can also save those steps as well if we'd like. So I'm going to have an alpha listing, and what else do I want? I'm going to put some class roster, or class roster in, and I actually like the one with phone and class column breaks, and I'm going to do it by school. Again, I simply preview and I select PDF and I save that particular document. Now I would go through and save all the documents that I want in my directory in this same fashion. Give it a name and then save it. We recommend creating again a folder that you're going to keep all these in because you are going to want to name them a common uh, a name as we put them together and you'll see that shortly where it'll show uh, where we're going to combine them together. So you would go through and create all your reports, or excuse me, save all your reports in this My School software for the data. Again, selecting the reports you want, previewing them, and hitting PDF and saving. The next thing we're going to look at adding to our directory is our front and back covers as well as some ad pages. Simply go into the ad manager that's installed on your computer and if you don't have this go to our support center and install this. This is a separate application and runs um, completely separate from the uh, My School software. But I have the ability to create covers, front and back covers. I put in text here you notice I can um, change the font and the size and color. I've already put some text in here so you can see how it looks. And you can load a picture. Let's take a look, let's save those changes, and let's preview what this looks like right now. So you can see that we have our text, we have our picture here, and we have some text at the bottom. We can do the same for the back covers as well. So we can right click, we can load a graphic, Let's just say we want the, let me look for a picture, and we'll find a sample picture. Let's say our school is the penguins. Um, and we can put in um, some text that says, you know, this, this information.
something that's important to the school or we can also put advertising let's say you've sold an ad in the back of the the directory simply highlight the text change the size and I hit save and let's preview that so now just as we did in the reports we're gonna to go to PDF and we're going to save this document again I'm gonna to go to my folder I'm gonna call it back cover and I'm gonna publish that and now I'm also going to publish my front cover let's go ahead and do that there's also a save as PDF button but I actually prefer to preview first and then click the PDF save It's just uh, something that they can take a look at so I know exactly what I'm saving and again I'm going to go to my uh, folder So I'm going to go through and save my different files. Now I have reports, I have front and back covers. One other thing I put in my directory is some informational pages. I'm going to show you in Word how I do that. Let's just bring up Word and you'll see that I have a page here, an informational page with school information as well as a notes page that might go on the back. Simply go to File save as and in most people's computers uh, today you have the ability to, to save as a PDF so you're going to want to save this as a PDF this makes it much easier to combine all your documents together so Word documents, Excel, any other kind of documents that you might want to put in your directory you should save them as PDFs and again most people's computers um, will allow them to do that so now you see I've gone into the software, I've gone into Word, um, I've saved reports, I've saved pages. How do we put this all together? Let's go to the next step. Now, combining your PDFs together in the order in which you want them is the last step of assembling your directory. Now we've already saved our reports, we've saved our front and back covers as well as our Word docs that we're going to put in the directory and we need to combine them. You can combine them yourself using this free tool called PDF SAM, uh, PDF Split and Merge. If you Google search or look on our website you'll see a link to this tool it's free it works very well um, or your print shop can combine report can combine the PDFs but I'm going to show you how to use this very handy tool and simply add the reports or the PDF files that you want to the list and put them in the order that you want now remember we made a recommendation that you create one folder with all of your documents so we're going to add all of these to our list. Simply go through and add, click add, select open and it's going to add them to this list. We have an information pages and we're going to add our roster. Now we want the front cover to be first so we're going to simply select move up to the front cover and we obviously want the back cover to be last and we're going to say move down so we can put them in the order that we want them uh, again remember I said name them so that they have some logical names it tells us how many pages and what else do we want I think I want that alpha uh, information page right after the cover I have my alpha listing I have my rosters I kinda like my rosters above my alphabetical listing so I put them in the order I want now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell it to merge them together and here's what I do is I go to my output file where do I want to put it I want to put it here and this is going to be called my final directory so I give it a name and it says overwrite it if it already exists compress the output files I actually don't really need to be compressed and then I simply click run and what this program is going to do is create the file for me so now if I go in and to Acrobat and I open up and look for that report or excuse me that final PDF that I put together my directory I'm going to again go to the folder that I put it 
and I see a file called Final Directory PDF. And lo and behold, what that program did is it combined let's zoom out a little bit so it makes it a little easier so it combined all those reports that I just saved including my cover my word doc um, now again this is test data so appreciate that this is test information but basically it's combined everything together that is how simple it is to create a final assembled directory with our reports uh, from the software, our front and cover pages, as well as a Word doc or two that you put into the system and, or excuse me, that you create and assemble into a final directory. Again, your, your print shop can actually do this assembly process if you're not comfortable with it, but we recommend actually using this tool uh, that, that you can find again on our website that makes it very easy to do yourself.